Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's be an inaugural event in of Victoria. Uh, it'll be nice to gain contention because I was, you know, even par after first round. I knew if I'd be under par, I'd be in here because the winds were going to pick up this afternoon. Yeah, I was just talking with Devin Carey about why so many guys from BC are playing well out here. He says it's because the uh, the grass is very similar to what you guys are used to. Is this similar to what you grew up on? Like oh, yeah, definitely. I grew up playing on greens and these, you know, bluegrass, I think. And, yeah. uh, no, it's, it's very similar. It's very, like, home feeling, like. So that helps a lot? Oh, yeah, definitely. That helps a lot. Less adjustments. Yeah. Guys. How good is any round today in these conditions, Eugene, um, at even par or better the way that it played? Because when I showed up here this morning thinking you guys are going to be throwing darts, then the wind came, then the sun came, and the green seemed to get a little bit faster as well. How, how good are the scores post, especially yours in these conditions? It's definitely very good because uh, to get really close to the green, pins especially, it's really hard because the greens are getting firm and fast. So you know, downwind, you know, front pin, it's very hard to hold near the green. How much of a grind was it? What was the most... Grinding part of it. Grinding, most grinding part is definitely the putts because there's a lot of subtle breaks in there that you can't see. So my caddy Parker definitely helped me a lot out there. Your score, um, under normal conditions, how much lower could it have been? Um, much lower because you can hit you can hit darts at the pin, but since these are really firm, um, they're pretty hard to play right now. Heading into uh, the weekend, do you feel any pressure? I mean, uh, there's a lot of Canadians, and you know, I think what you posted today was a pretty darn good score. Yes, I have, yeah. So uh, I think I'm in perfect position, a little bit behind the leader, and hopefully, in the next two days, I'll catch up.